This is the first time that uh, marketers have been able to take the uh, data-driven uh, programmatic activation into the largest screen of the home, right? Sight, sound, and motion on that beautiful 65-inch screen. Uh, and so they're really leaning in. You know, we have a few partners who tested last year and are now you know, moving significant budgets that way. Um, and because of Samsung Ads, you know, largest in class data set, uh, you know, we're a really good partner to work with. And what, what flavor of programmatic are you offering? Is this about decisioning? Is it about transacting? The whole spectrum? Yeah, so I would say the primary way that we're working programmatically now is uh, you know, curated access to inventory uh, of ours. Uh, and then what we're looking to for the future is you know, our platform, which would enable activation with all of the Samsung data assets. Uh, they currently, you know, a lot of partners work with us on a traditional insertion order basis. Well, programmatic in the online market obviously generated some pretty negative headlines in the 2010s around issues like transparency and fraud. Does the TV industry need to be worried about the same sorts of issues? So, you know, we haven't seen anything that indicates right now there are major issues, uh, but we like to be a leader in the space. Uh, so we did a first in CTV partnership last year with Moat and the Oracle team. Uh, to measure both valid traffic as well as viewability in CTV. Uh, anyone who's been in digital for a while, as you mentioned, knows that if there's money flowing into a new channel, uh, the smart fraudsters out there are going to move in there too. So we just want to make sure that uh, you know, we're ahead of the game and that our advertisers are in fact getting what they pay for. And you mentioned your partnership with Moat um, yes. a little while ago. What does that really involve? Why, how is it going to benefit the buyers? So, you know, the way it benefits buyers is they can measure their CTV and OTT buys uh, and, you know, ensure that it's really a human that is engaging with that ad. Uh, and it's kind of tricky in CTV because all of the ad insertion happens on the server side. So it's much more challenging than when the ad's happening on your phone or on your, your PC. Uh, so it takes a lot more integration with someone like Moat or others. Now, you also mentioned that part of your role is looking after big agency groups. Yes. It's interesting that here we have Samsung engaging with those groups. I'm guessing that's relatively new. So I've been in this role for three years. Uh, I was brought in to kind of you know, kick that off. And it, our relationships with the agencies at the high level have grown dramatically over the, uh, those last three years. You know, we have very large partnerships in place. We're integrated into you know, some of the data stacks that the agencies have been building. Um, and you know our upfront relationships continue to grow, and they see us as a valued partner because we do have that you know sort of largest in class data set that allows them to you know reach unique audiences in connected TV that they can't find with their linear ad buys. And I was going to say, what what are the groups really looking for you to provide that they can't get somewhere else? Yeah, so you know I would say agencies now are really starting to lean into CTV. Uh, you know, it's been in the pilot phase forever, and they're finally, you know, see it as a proven source of high quality inventory and uh, ways to solve their clients' problems. And so they're looking to us to help them do that at scale because, you know, we have such a large footprint uh, with 45 million and growing active smart TVs in the US uh, that helps them, you know, do those data driven activations that also can drive ROI that can be measured after the fact. In the context of the broader TV and video ecosystem, what does CTV offer that's really different and unique? So, you know, CTV, if you think about it as that, you know, 15 or 30 second spot on the largest screen in the home, allows you to do it in a one-to-one -one targeted or addressable way in the language of TV, and then to measure, um, you know, conversion or brand lift or whatever you want to, in a way that is really hard to do in a traditional national broadcast or cable buy. Uh, and so that's why we see agencies leaning in. So we're right at the beginning of this journey, I guess. The 2020s promised to be an exciting decade. Are there any things you're particularly looking forward to seeing in your role over the next few years as the industry develops? You know, I'm excited to see more and more television inventory become you know, capable of dynamic ad insertion, right? Whether it's as OTT platforms grow or as traditional TV moves into virtual MVPDs because the more inventory we can dynamically serve into, the better we can service you know, advertisers and their agencies.